Good day, everyone. The objective of this uh, demonstration is to give you an overview of Yellowfin and its capabilities. But first of all, what is Yellowfin? Yellowfin is an analytic suite of products that will enable you to extract transformational value from your data by combining action-based dashboards, automated data discovery, data storytelling, and data preparation, all in a single platform. In this demonstration, we'll look at each of these modules and give you a brief overview. So let's start by looking at our dashboards in Yellowfin. Now, Yellowfin dashboards will allow you to quickly assemble reports and visualizations from one or more data sources. And dashboards will also allow you to communicate and share your key performance indicators with your colleagues. Now, as you can see here, you can create a variety of visualizations in Yellowfin. Here we have big number charts, column charts, pie charts, and many more. You can also filter the data on a dashboard. And when you click on apply, um, all of the reports will update to only show you the, the data for the specific area of your business that you are interested in. You can also save these uh, filters as bookmarks. So the next time you open up the dashboard, you don't have to manually go and select the filter values. You can just click on the bookmark and Yellowfin will automatically apply those filters for you. Now, if you look at uh, the data in your report and you want more information, you can use any of the drill capabilities available. And uh, with Yellowfin, um, you have a drill down capability. So this is where the user will drill down a predefined path. For example, here, when we click on Europe, it will show us the countries in that specific region. We also have the capability where the users can choose their own path when they look at the data. So for example, if I click on Europe here, I can tell Yellowfin that the next level should be the gender. Yellowfin also have uh, drill through relationships. So if uh, I have a summary report, I can click on a value in that summary report and then Yellowfin will open a more detailed report that will explain the values to me. So for example, if I click on 2018 Asia on the, on the value here, uh, Yellowfin will open up the detailed report and only show me the data for 2018 Asia. Now, uh, if you look at your data and uh, you see an unexpected spike from one period to another, you can simply click on that data point, choose auto analyze and select the type of analysis that you want. So for example, if you click on explain, Yellowfin will now run uh, smart algorithms over your data and find the most likely causes uh, for that spike and also ranks them. And as you can see here, Yellowfin generated these visualizations automatically and also uh, paired that with a narrative to explain the insight in more detail. So basically, Yellowfin is doing in seconds what would take data analysts hours to achieve. Here we have another example of a dashboard, uh, but this one was developed using um, the Freeform Canvas. And this is where you can decide on the exact layout of each of the objects on the screen. So as you can see, we've combined images with text and our live charts to create a really nice looking dashboards for our users. We can also now create workflows directly from the dashboard using action buttons. Now, Yellowfin ships with out-of-the-box functionality uh, where you can trigger events using no code. You can, for example, reset the filters on a dashboard, open up a specific report, or go to the URL. In this case, I'm going to click on the View Whiskey button to look at information specific to the whiskies uh, in my data. <laughs> we can also extend these uh, action buttons using code mode. Now, code mode is for developers uh, where they can use familiar languages like HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript to create their own custom workflows. So, for example, you can now look at your sales data, and when I click on a button, I can go and create a new marketing campaign in my CRM system. I can even update my budget information on the dashboard and write that back to my operational database for uh, future use. Now, uh, for this code mode functionality, you need some development skills. And uh, for the non-technical users, the developers can save uh, the code snippets as a code library. 
and then the users can make use of that using code widgets on their dashboards. Now, creating a dashboard is uh, really simple. All we do, we uh, click on create new dashboard, choose a name for our dashboard. We can select a default data set. This is what we'll use for the blueprint functionality, which I'll explain in a moment. And then you choose the layout for your dashboard. I can choose uh, any of these predefined layouts or the freeform canvas. The predefined layouts is what we'll use if you want to create a basic dashboard where everything is perfectly aligned. So all you do, you just drag your reports onto these areas of the screen and the elephant will do the rest. For now, I'm going to choose the freeform canvas and this will give us complete design flexibility. So on the left here, we have all of our objects or widgets that we can add to our canvas. So for example, I can go and add a report uh, to my canvas. So when I do that, Yellowfoot will ask me uh, what visualization I want to put on the dashboard. So for example, I can choose between the table or the, uh, the chart. In this case, let's use the chart. I can then go and resize this. I can use the properties panel here on the right to go and change the, the formatting options for this specific report. We also have text values, so you can drag any of the text objects on the screen. And from here, you can go and add your title, um, change the font size, the color, and any of the other properties um, related to the specific object. You can also combine this with graphics in the form of shapes, lines, and icons. You can add images in here, and we also have code widgets available. Now, often teams will work together to design a dashboard. Now, in the past, this uh, used to happen on a piece of paper, and then you need to email that piece of paper back and forth with the developers in order to, to get to that final layout that everybody is happy with. With Blueprint functionality in Yellowfin, we can now design our dashboards in the Yellowfin environment by dragging in placeholders for our reports. So in this case, I'm going to drag a, a placeholder for a, a column chart onto my report. I can go and resize it and you can even describe it so that the developers will know uh, what you want in that specific report. As a business user, I can also create the reports directly from the dashboard using the quick chart functionality. So if I click on create simple chart, all I do is I choose my dimensions. So in this case, let's use demographic and we also select our uh, metrics. When I click on create, Yellowfin will create the chart for me. Again, using this properties panel on the right, I can go and change the aggregation. I can uh, change the color settings here, and you can even add optional fields. For example, I can add a color field to this. Let's use the gender in this case. So now uh, we have our chart generated. Now the quick chart functionality will give you uh, most of the, the functions that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. But for those advanced reports, you can still right click on the report and go to advanced edit, which will take you to the report, uh, to the report editor. Now, once we're done with our dashboard, we can click on Publish. We make sure we have a name for our dashboard and a description. And then we store that dashboard in a folder. Now, by storing your content in a folder, it means that everybody with access to that folder will have access to this dashboard. But I can also store this as a private dashboard meaning that I will have to go and give specific users access to view this dashboard. I'm going to save this. Now, once our dashboard is saved, we can see who viewed the dashboard. You can broadcast the dashboard, and this is where you can schedule it so that Yellowfin will automatically send the dashboard to you on a, on a daily basis. Um, I can change the access again on my dashboard. And then lastly, we can share the dashboard with other users in the Yellowfin environment. So the first one here is distribute, and this is where Yellowfin will push this dashboard to the user's timeline in Yellowfin. We can also email the dashboard so that Yellowfin will send uh, uh, an email to our users. Now, creating reports in Yellowfin is just as easy. Um, all we need to do is we click on report, and then we choose a pre-prepared data set that we would like to use. Now, this data set 
um, is, is called a view in Yellowfin. And the purpose of this is to take away the complexities of the database um, from your, your business users and your report writers. So as a business user, you don't um, need to know where the data is stored. All you see is a list of fields in, uh, in categories. And then you can simply drag these fields onto the canvas to create your, uh, your reports. So, so here you can see that I have the invoice amount by region. Yellowfin automatically summarized this value for us, and this is the way it was defined in our data set. But I can also go and change the aggregation on the report as well. To create the uh, um, pivot tables or cross tab reports in Yellowfin, it's just as easy. We simply drag the field into the rows area and Yellowfin will create the, uh, the cross tab report for us. I'm just going to add a couple of reports in or fields in here. And uh, then instead of creating my, my visualization myself, I can ask Yellowfin to help me with the data discovery by clicking on the Smart Analysis button. So when I click there, I simply ask my question. So in this case, we want to explain a specific metric and it will be the uh, average invoice amount. So then when we click on Go, Yellowfin will again run the uh, Smart Algorithms on top of our data and create these visualizations for us. You also see the narrative here that was uh, generated. So if you're interested in this chart, you can simply select it and go to the chart step and then Yellowfin already have this chart populated for us. Now, if you're not uh, happy with this specific chart that Yellowfin created, you can also use the auto chart functionality where Yellowfin will create and choose the best visualization based on the data that we provide. If you're still not happy, you can go and select any of the uh, the charts available in Yellowfin. So, for example, we can choose a vertical column chart and Yellowfin will change the, the layout of your chart. When you're done with the report, you can click on Publish to give your report a name. Then, again, we store it in a specific folder. So, when we save it, Yellowfin will have all of these actions available on top of our report. And from here, we can export the report uh, into an Excel or Word document and even PDF documents. I can share my reports with my users, similar to the dashboards. And you can also schedule uh, the report to run automatically. So all we do here, we add our recipients. We add a subject and a body for our email, the type of attachment, and then we choose the frequency. So in this case, let's run it every Monday morning at six o'clock. Now, before I click on submit, we can also change this into a exception report. Now, finding uh, changes in your data and knowing what happens in your, in your organization is really important. But manual data discovery is just error prone and time consuming. And that is why Yellowfin introduced threshold based alerts and automated data discovery or signals to continuously monitor your business. Now, setting up a threshold based alert is really simple. All we do, we change this uh, email from continuous to alert, and then we can go and add our rules in here. So, for example, I can only send this report to the user if the average invoice amount is less than or equal to a specific value. This can be done by the business user. So, this is not done at uh, report development time. Hmm. Now, threshold based alerts is great when you know what you are looking for. So, this is when you know when you're looking for known events. But this is just not feasible for every single scenario um, to go and set that up. And that is why Yellowfin introduced signals. Now, signals will run all the time on your data constantly looking for changes. And if a change is detected, like an outlier, a spike, or a change in trend, you will be notified immediately. And users are notified via email, their timeline, and even the mobile application. So basically, Yellowfin will monitor your business for you using signals. Here's an example of signals that was generated. And uh, you can see a description of the signal, you can see what happened, and also a trend line. If you want more information about the signal, you can simply click on the signal 
and explore in detail. So what we'll see here is again the description at the top. We can look at the history of that signal, so you know what happened in the past, and then we can use this related tab here um, to see how this change um, affected other metrics. The correlated tab will show you if other similar changes happened in the same or other data sets at the same time. So basically, this will help you to understand what happened in your data. You can use the relevance tab here at the bottom to show you um, the impact that this change has had on the total metric. And the analysis tab is what you can use to find out what the possible drivers were uh, for this specific change. So, so all of this will help you understand why this happened. Now to share these insights with your team, you can use the discussion button here and collaborate on this uh, specific signal. Setting up a signal in Yellowfin is really easy. Uh, all we do is we uh, um, select uh, the metrics that we uh, want to monitor and the dimensions that's important to our business and Yellowfin will take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. Now, Yellowfin also have a, a unique storytelling capability. And for this, it uses uh, stories and presentations. Now, if we look at stories, um, story is basically uh, a blog or an article that you write about your data. We start by adding a header for our, for our story, and then we can add the text uh, or title for our story in this case. is the title and then we can go and add live or snapshot reports to our story. In this case, let's search for the report and then we insert that into our story. So here you can see the, the report on our story. We can also add context by inserting images on videos and even third party content from other BI uh, tools. For example, Power BI Click and Tableau. We can also uh, add our text in here, so we can just uh, type our um, um, explanations, our human explanations and add this to our report. On the text that you've entered, you can just highlight the text and change the, the format for this text. So for example, you can make this a quote and then when you're done with your story, you can simply click on publish, give your story a name, again a description and then store it in a specific folder. The last step here is where we can share the stories with other users so they will be notified that a new story was created. And this is our story. So here at the bottom we can see who the author was, you can see who read the story and you can even go and like the story or clap the story if you're really interested in that. Now sometimes uh, uh, you need a more formal way of presenting your data and for this we use presentations. Now a presentation in Yellowfin is a, a slide deck similar to PowerPoint but unlike PowerPoint we don't need to go and copy and paste reports trying to maintain security while doing that. All of this is done in one tool. So when we run our uh, uh, presentations we can run it in full screen mode and we can add our live reports to our presentations. And by doing this, it means that we can now create a story of our presentation once, and then every time you open that presentation, you will have the latest data uh, displayed on the screen. So next, we're going to look at uh, the data preparation step. Now, um, data preparation will allow you to connect to uh, multiple data sources and prepare your data for analysis. So first of all, um, if your data is not in the correct format and you want to transform the data or clean the data, you can use Yellowfin's transformation tool um, to go and prepare the data for you and optimize it for reporting. Now the transformation tool consists of input steps and this is where we uh, get the data from. We have our transformation steps and then lastly, output steps. So if we look at this example here, we're extracting data from a, a table in a database. We're also um, extracting data from a CSV file and then you can add any number of transformation steps. In this case, 
we've merged the data, we can filter the data, and you can even add calculated fields. And once you're done, you can output the data to an actual database, and from there you can access it using Yellowfin. Now, once the data is, is uh, prepared and ready for analysis, we can go and create a, uh, a view or a data set. Now, the purpose of a, of a data set in Yellowfin is to take away the complexity of the database from our business users and report developers. So they don't need to understand where the data is stored and how the data is joined. The first step here is to create our entity relationship diagram. And then also we choose the fields that we would like to make available for the business users. You can also look at the SQL that was generated and then lastly see a preview of your data. Now, once you're happy with the data, you can click on prepare and uh, from here you can go and rename the fields. Uh, if uh, the database or the fields in the database have a technical name to make it easy for your users, you can add calculations. Uh, you can go and define your, your filter values and all of your row and field level security is also stored in the view. So once we're done with this step, we click on publish and then the users with the necessary access will be able to go and create their own reports. So Yellowfin uh, will provide you with all of the tools that you need to prepare your data for analysis, connect to multiple data sources and transform the data and then also create your pre-prepared models. So in summary, in this uh, uh, demonstration, we've uh, looked at uh, the, uh, the capabilities of Yellowfin and what Yellowfin can do. And uh, we can now go and combine our data using action build dashboards, operational reporting, data storytelling, automated data discovery, and data preparation. Thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact us at the information on the screen.